guys! So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about hair loss in women. It is an incredibly frustrating condition that plagues millions of women. If you are one of the millions of women out there coping with hair loss, chances are you want an evidence-based, clinically proven intervention to regrow your hair. And if that's the case, then I'm here to tell you that the intervention that you want to know about is low-level laser therapy. This video is in partnership with iRestore. They make what is in my opinion as a dermatologist, the best low level laser hair regrowth system on the market far and away. Their iRestore Professional is 282 lasers and LEDs. It covers the entire scalp with enhanced side and back coverage and this nice lightweight, comfortable, breathable helmet. It is FDA cleared to treat hair loss thinning hair, and baldness. And in as little as 25 minutes, three times a week, you can begin to see uh, results in terms of improved thickness and hair regrowth in as little as three months. The best part about iRestore is that they offer a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied with the results, they'll refund your money. Uh, so it's very low risk. Click the link in my description box. I have a coupon code for you guys. You can save on the iRestore Professional. It is the best one on the market in my opinion. Now, while it's normal to lose about 100 hairs a day, excessive hair loss can be due to a variety of different causes, such as your genetics, hormones, maybe a medication that you're taking, or chemotherapy that you've gone through, or starting and stopping birth control pills. These can all influence our hair growth and our hair growth cycle. When we think of balding, probably one of the first things that comes to most people's mind is, oh, this is something that affects men. But the reality of it is that 50% of women will experience some degree of hair loss in their lifetime. This type of hair loss that both men and women experience is called pattern hair loss. While young girls and young women can be affected by pattern hair loss, it most commonly occurs in women over the age of 40 and it tends to present or begin worsening around the time of menopause, but also can be exacerbated around the time of pregnancy, delivery of the baby uh, with changes in hormones. Also starting and stopping birth control can influence the hair growth cycle as well. Also women who have undergone chemotherapy or radiation, their hair cycle can be affected and they can be set up for early pattern hair loss. What is it about hormones though that influences hair and why does it cause hair loss in women? Well, as estrogen and progesterone levels fall with say menopause or with age, what then, what then ends up happening is that the androgen hormones, the male hormones that we all have, they kind of take over in a sense and their effects on the hair cycle become more pronounced. And what this causes is thinning of the hair. It miniaturizes the bulb of the hair. And as a result, you have a baby hair that grows really, really fine. And that appears as thinning hair. The hair grows more slowly and you have visible areas of thinning and balding in the scalp. So what can be done about pattern hair loss in women? The only over-the-counter FDA approved treatment for pattern hair loss in women is minoxidil, brand name Rogaine. I have a video talking about this. Uh, this is a medication that you have to apply to your scalp every night and it can cause a bad scalp dermatitis, a contact dermatitis. And if it drips onto your face, it can cause hair growth in places where you don't want hair, like the sides of your face. Uh, so people get frustrated with it. Now as dermatologists, we can prescribe a variety of medications that are quote off label for improving female pattern hair loss. And by off label, I mean these medications are not FDA approved for the treatment of hair loss in women. These medications include spironolactone and in older women, postmenopausal women, sometimes uh, finasteride may be considered as well, or deuteroside. Um, but the problem with these medications is A, nobody wants to take a pill every day, um, and B, they can have major side effects. Um, but not only that, they're not safe to be used during pregnancy. So women going through hair loss during their childbearing years, they at least have to go through a period of time where they can't be on anything, uh, so it doesn't affect the baby adversely. So herein comes low-level laser therapy. 
Low-level laser therapy is a clinically proven effective intervention for improving hair thickness, hair density, and baldness in women. Low-level laser therapy, we think, works in that it uses red beam lasers, which focus energy to the dormant hair follicle, to stimulate it to divide and begin regrowing the hair. Also, low-level laser therapy is thought to stimulate growth factors and nourishment of the surrounding hair follicle so that it can grow and begin to have restoration of hair regrowth. We have several trials evaluating the efficacy of low-level laser therapy, not only in men, but in women as well, showing that it works to regrow hair, to improve thickness of the hair, and to improve baldness and it is FDA cleared for hair loss. Low-level laser therapy has far fewer adverse effects. Uh, you may experience a little bit of tingling and irritation, maybe a little bit of a, of a warming sensation during the treatment, but that subsides after it is stopped and it is, it is much easier to tolerate. In my opinion as a dermatologist, the best laser hair regrowth system on the market is the iRestore Professional. It combines lasers and LEDs to give a, an all-encompassing laser hair regrowth system. Now I've reviewed extensively other devices on the market. Unlike iRestore, these only offer lasers. They don't offer the combination of lasers and LEDs. What is the difference between lasers and LEDs and why is it that having both is somehow better? Lasers are unique in that they emit a single wavelength of light in a coherent manner. In other words, they put a very direct and focused beam of laser energy deep down into the scalp, into the follicle. In contrast, LEDs, they offer the ability to encompass a more widespread area where the laser is missing. The laser focuses in one spot, but the LED gives a little bit more comprehensive coverage around the laser to get those spots that the laser misses. LEDs work on the superficial part of your scalp to stimulate blood vessels that are necessary for bringing in nutrients, growth factors to support the, the stimulated follicle. Whereas the lasers focus down deep directly to the follicle to stimulate the follicle itself to divide. Think of it like this. Think of it like planting tulips. Your uh, hair follicle is like a tulip bulb and the laser stimulates the bulb to begin growing but the LED puts the energy into the soil to bring those nutrients in to nourish the growing tulip or in your case hair. The LEDs that iRestore uses are really powerful. They're medical grade monochromatic so they're delivering very similar type of energy to the lasers in the helmet uh, but getting those areas of the laser is going to skip. They encompass a more, a, a broader area of the scalp. And the design of the helmet is really nice. It gives you excellent coverage of the, the top of the scalp, the sides, and the back. So you really get all the follicles with good contact to the energy sources. Yeah, if you're a multitasker like me, this is really a great thing because you can do other things and it stays in place really well and is comfortable and lightweight. It doesn't feel like you have, have all this weight on your head. So you can wear it for the 25 minutes comfortably. Only three days a week, that's all you need to do. And as little as three months, you'll start to see hair regrowth. It is pretty impressive. And if you're not satisfied, you can get 100% of your money back guaranteed and iRestore will cover the cost of shipping the device back, which is in contrast to their competitors that make you pay for shipping the device back. So that's another really great feature of iRestore and the company and why I really like them. So yeah, check the link in the description box. You can get a discount off of the iRestore Professional Laser. It is, in my opinion, as a dermatologist, the best one on the market. I hope you guys thought it was helpful. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.